Hey everyone, so let's see this article, Her Own Workplace. Supreme Court's comments on menstrual leave should spur wider conversations on making places of work, work more inclusive. The Supreme Court's comment on Monday that a mandatory menstrual leave policy might be counterproductive for women in the workforce is an intervention in what has proved to be a contentious issue not just in India but across the world. The three-judge bench, hearing a plea to implement menstrual leave for women under Maternity Benefit Act 1961, urged the Centre to frame a model policy in consultation with the states and stakeholders, ensuring that fear of its misuse as basis for discrimination does not deter the entry of women into the workforce. Working women are already set back by the motherhood penalty and workplace housekeeping. Pregnancy and child rearing that stale their progress and the assignment of, assignment of menial administrative tasks that men at the same professional level would not volunteer for or to be assigned. Menstrual leave runs the risk of becoming one more obstacle course that women have to navigate for employment and career advancement. In December last year, the former Union Women and Child Development Minister Smriti Irani had told the Rajya Sabha that she was opposed to the idea of paid menstrual leave personally because she did not want women to face discrimination over a natural part of women's life's journey. There is some truth in her words. The pathologization of a biological process can further the stigma instead of elevating it. Yet, for those suffering from conditions such as endometriosis and dysmenorrhea, the discomfort that accompanies their menstrual cycles has real impact on their performance at work. All these necessitate a careful calibration of how policy is framed, with guidelines and safeguards built in against misuse at either end. While countries such as Taiwan and Zambia have instituted menstrual leave policy implementation has remained a hurdle. In June 2023, when Spain became the first European nation to introduce paid menstrual leave, it was seen as move towards greater gender parity. In the years since, data has shown that very few women have availed of it, either because the process is onerous or due to fear of discrimination. In Indonesia, the two-day menstrual leave has few takers as policy mandates a medical examination to avail it. The apex court comment therefore comes as a welcome opportunity for greater deliberation a policy that can strike an equilibrium between acknowledgement of women's biological needs and an accommodation of workplace demands. The draft menstrual hygiene policy released by the government last year outlined the provision of flexible hours and support leaves. Such arrangements should be available to all to prevent perpetuating stigmas or uh, assumptions about productivity based on menstrual cycles, it could be a starting point. So this is the article. I am sorry for a certain uh, mispronunciation of the uh, uh, this biological words. So sorry for that. Uska pronunciation please aap dekh sakte hain. And other than that, agar hum dekhe is article mein hume, hume kya hai, jo menstrual cycle hote hain women ko. Uske liye uh, leave hona chahiye. That is what it is suggesting. But our uh, Smriti Rani, she told that hume leave nahi chahiye because uh, ye ek discrimination ko or you know uh, uplift karega discrimination ko. To unhon unka aisa kahan hai and kahi had tak is sahi bhi hai. But then there is certain other aspects as well. Then you can see this act. The Maternity Benefit Act 1961, this is important. Other than this, Union Women and Child Development Minister Smriti Irani ka kya kehna tha, isko par aap thoda dekh sakte hain. Zyada deep mein nahi, but haan, thoda sa, you can see through it. Then, uh, these, these were the disease which I was talking about. Ki thoda sa mispronunciation ho gaya hoga, but please take care of that. Other, other than that, agar hum dekhe to Taiwan, Zambia, uh, May policy hai implementation has remained a hurdle. Fir June 2023, Spain ki baat hum First European nation tha. And then we have Indonesia. Maybe hum nahi cheez dekhi hai. So, aap ye cheez uh, kaha kaha dekh sakte hai? Taiwan, Zambia, Spain and Indonesia. Ka aap case dekh sakte hai? And that's it for this article. Thank you. Keep working hard.